Hi, good evening, um, my beautiful people. Um, welcome to the Hector Martinez Football Show. Once again, we are here with my two wonderful friends, Kelly Wilson and John Stoddard. Uh, don't clap too loud, please. That's good to see you guys. And um, wow, what's been happening? You know, Premier League, this, you know, Scottish football, the uh, French football, we'll get, German we'll get, football. We'll get to Mourinho in a minute. We'll just, <laughs> yeah. we'll, 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 uh, if we could just have a quick start with, because uh, we've got a little bit of a crusade with, with women's soccer moving into for the Matildas for the World Cup year. Um, and John was just mentioning that FFA. Yeah, Sarah Walsh has uh, been given the job as the general manager of the FFA. So that's a really Which good is fantastic. fantastic. And I, I uh, uh, one of your so, clubs. Sorry, I, I didn't, because I, I'm sorry, I didn't even see anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sarah Walsh, ex Matilda. She's now the general manager for the FFA. Not just looking after Matildas, mm. but across the board. Which is great. Which is very good, isn't it? And I think, uh, like we've spoken about before. But we've been talking about that, yeah. that we yeah. need people. Like we, want to uh, we, we, want, we, want, we want to get well behind done. women's soccer. Um, uh, Hannah Brom Bromley, who's a New Zealand international, um, is in charge of uh, women's soccer at Forest Kalani. And uh, th she's looking for female coaches and some players. So if we can get behind uh, all these local teams that are looking for women's, women's coaches and players, uh, Post it on Hector's site if you uh, if you're interested in coaching or playing. Uh, Hannah Bromley, she's uh, she did a great job, terrific player in her day, and she's done a fantastic job at Forest Colony. So, uh, and I, I think there's a lot of teams who are getting behind women women's football and girls football, and I think we'll see a massive growth factor in the next 15, 16 months because of the World Cup, and that's why we keep saying. Get behind the Matildas. Yeah, let's, exactly. let's support Yeah, good them. point. Yeah, good good point. Good point. I like that, honestly. Yes, yeah. yes. I like well, that. Shall we, we get on to Rangers? What happened at the weekend, Ken? Yeah, I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I, I had a funny, had a funny <laughs> feeling. So thank, <laughs> God, thank God we got at least a point. Um, well, you're still unbeaten. That, that's, that's, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Well, you know, that, that was thanks to Steven Gerrard, really. This, this I couldn't believe uh, it, Hector, when he made a substitution, a corner kick last yeah, minute. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. You just, you, you know. You just don't do that, do you? I've never heard of it. In any book, you wouldn't do that, yeah. but it's good that he did it because that will teach him, you know, not to do it again. Yeah, not to do it again. But, but like you say, Hector, you know, for a player that has experience, yeah, uh, I, and, and he's now a coach, even as a player, you know, you, know, you don't make a change at a corner but kick. Corner, you never. No, you don't. You know. But that's what I mean. You know, with all respect to to football, you know, he did it. And I thought that he wasn't going to, you know, like, but when he told the player to come on your own. Yeah. One minute, Hector, one minute yeah. to go. Just, yeah. he just said, like, let I him take the it. corner kick. And then yeah. he, even he comes in into seconds, you know what I mean? Just, just do it. You I, know I, I think, mean? I think the issue was as well. I think what, what, he, he was obviously trying to run the clock down, but he did it at the wrong end of the he field. Yeah. 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 You did, you did, it, you did it in the other half. But I mean, I suppose the upside is his new signing. So is he, he scored? Uh, is Lafferty, Lafferty scored, scored yeah. two goals, yeah. which yeah. was a great debut for him. Uh, the big for any any Scottish and Irish fans out there that are watching us tonight this Sunday, Rangers Celtic. Uh, I know me and John will be. Don't uh, be late. Don't be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, know. Listen, I I know I'll be switching my phone off if Rangers I'm, don't win. I'm going to that be watching. You, I want to. <laughs> I want to reaffirm myself that what I watched, you know. Uh, the game that just was played um, that you guys drew at the last minute or the last second I should say that game I learned a lot about Scottish football in one game there's not a lot to learn Hector <laughs> no but I learned you know because we we, we want to not like I wanted to not remember we talked last week and for the last two weeks we've been talking about that uh, why do they get paid so such a little money Compared to the compared English compared to the English league, well, I think that that's one of the reasons why. But I mean, be nice to. I want to see Celtic playing there, you know, the Rangers, well, and I want to see. see well, well, you mentioned Celtic. Yeah, um, uh, Daniel Arzani made his debut for Celtic reserves mm -hmm. against Hamilton at the weekend. Uh, they lost three 0 which is not a great start, but um, but he, at least he started to play, and it was interesting. Rogers made a comment. Um, how he'll use him moving forward if he makes the team because he's playing a 4-3-3 and he said he'll, he'll, either, he'll use him in either of the two wide positions mm. so well, he can do that, that, yeah. that's, that's his intention if he makes the team but uh, 
Yeah, so it, look, he started <coughs> to play, which is which is well, a, a, a bonus, Kenny. Yeah, and, that, and as you say, the wide that's his that's his positions. You've been yep. having in the midfield. You get them wide, take men on, get the ball in. Because he's it's, it's got good guys in the centre of the, the park, you know. True, true, true. The good guys can finish but in the middle. But, you know, like, as I said, you know, playing the Scottish football, if he's played that hard, that consistency on body... But it's very tough. There's you know, no it's doubt about that. going it's going very to be tough, very isn't? hard, very hard. Yeah, it's very physical. So... But the thing is, you've got a team like Rangers who try and play football. Yeah. And, and you've got a team like Motherwell who just basically lump the ball forward... And they got a draw. And you yeah, think, well, but <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Look, I don't know where you know? to start really to make a comment really because I've seen a 50-50 ball in the leg. I mean, the tackle went over the knee, mm. you know, yeah. and the ball is underneath. That doesn't matter. Yeah, but that's, you know? <laughs> that, that, that's very passive for Scottish football. <laughs> that's, that's, that doesn't that's matter. Handbags, that's <laughs> handbags at 40 paces. No wonder why. Uh, don't know, worry about that. I yeah, think really I ball is. I think when I play that... <laughs> that's that. incidental. The ball doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, Motherwell had a, a guy up front who must have committed 50 fouls. Yeah. And we're still in the park. Yeah. And it was just... And yeah, the referee is smiling. Yeah. You, you know, it's, yeah. one of, it's one of the only competitions... <laughs> In the in the world, they can still tackle from behind and score. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the referees still still let it go, and they um, still let it go. No, no, I agree. agree. Uh, um, you know, you watch it and you think, yeah, different. Uh, it's a it's a different animal. I mean, you can understand what certain types of players don't suit Scottish football. I remember uh, Ray Wilkins was talking that the late Ray Wilkins mm. was talking about uh, when he went to Rangers, and he arrived. Uh, Graham Soon, I think it was Graham Soon. Soon was manager, uh, yeah. We brought him at the time. And he played his first game and he came off and he went, What was that? <laughs> he said it was the quickest thing he had ever seen in his entire life. He said, I can't play in this. He said, But it was amazing after three or four weeks that he actually found the, found the pace, found the speed of the game, and then adapted his game, which good players do. Mm. Yeah, you know, excellent players do. I think you know, they adapt their game to suit the environment that they're playing in. And, you know, the really good players do that. I mean, Loudrop, at Ra- I mean, the great Rangers teams, you know, with uh, Loudrop, McCoy, Hatley. That, I remember that. Was, uh, but what, that, that wasn't like you know, the one I watched. It was, yeah. uh, I mean, it's chalk and cheese. I mean, when you, when you think, Rangers at one stage had four of the England World Cup team, including the captain, playing. Gary Stevens, Trevor Stevens, yep. Hatley, and Terry Butcher, all playing. At the, and there were, oh, and, sorry, five. There was uh, the goalkeeper Woods. They actually had five. Not the English. That were all on the England, the England team, at that time. So I mean, how how times have changed, you yeah. know. And you had. Um, <coughs> now you got very very few. Yeah. Like internationals now. Never mind. Two guy. You know, I mean, there's some fantastic players. Mm. You know, two guy was. I mean, two guy left Rangers. Oh. And I, I'm thinking to myself. You know, why'd you let him go? I mean, he, and when he went to Blackburn, and I mean, he was just a magnificent player. And you've got, um, uh, I suppose, that era when there wasn't the TV money in the Premier League at that time, so they could be competitive. That's gone. So, but it's good to see being sport picking the Premier League back up again. Thank goodness, mm. the Scottish Premier League, because it was off air for the first week or two, wasn't it? Yes. Um, yes so. so they've got it back up, up and running, which is fantastic. Which. Uh, it allows us to we can watch it to watch watch it with great pain. <laughs> yes, no, no. But um, so tell me about this um, this game that Manchester United <laughs> lost. Uh, our, our friend Mr. Mourinho. Well, you, you, I mean, I, I mean, felt sorry so for Mourinho in the first half. They could have been two, three easily, should have been, and then same again. They give away these cheap goals, and you see Mourinho's face, and he's looking. <laughs> you think, <laughs> what more can you do? You can't blame Mourinho for a striker and miss an open goal or for giving away cheap, cheap goals at corner kicks. You can't blame the, the manager for that, you know. No. I, I think the, 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 the upside for me was it's the most attacking formation exactly, he's played yeah. for a long time. He played 3 5 2 in the first half. Uh, unfortunately, his, three, his back three were very poor. Yeah? Very poor. Um, and to me, De Gea, De Gea the goalkeeper, he looks as though he's gone through the motions that he wants to leave. Uh, exactly. He doesn't. He doesn't look. He wants to go to Real Madrid. He was just kicking the ball anyway, no, wasn't he? Yeah, no doubt about it. Um, and then, you know, how do you leave someone like Sanchez and Mata on the bench? Your offensive players. I don't I quite know, understand I that. I just you know, uh, and Rashford at home. And Rashford. Yeah. Um, so you've got three players there that you would expect 
under any other circumstances would start. But taking that out of the equation, uh, it's probably the most attacking for- formation he's played in, in a while. First half, I agree with John. You know, we they, they should have been well in front. You know, Tottenham rode the luck, but really disappointed in after the game. You know, he's just lost it completely. He's got no humility. You know, you don't go into the press conference and say, "I've won three three premierships." Yes. How many? How many of these other premiership managers won? Yes. You know, it's show me respect. Well, you get res- you, you get you get respect by showing respect. Yeah. So you've got to firstly, when you walk into things like a press conference, they never they hadn't even attacked him. They hadn't even asked him a question, and he attacked them straight away. That tells me that he's lost it. You know, yeah, I, I, I'm quite sure that he's lost the dressing room. I, I believe I think he might be lucky to make make it till Monday. Well, self-respect um, is very important, absolutely. as we all know. You yeah, know, you can't sit down and abuse the press when they haven't asked you a question yet. He's, he's, and he's quoting things that happened years and years ago. He yeah. hasn't won anything in recent times. Mm, you well, know, he'd, he'd say he finished second last year, but how many points behind Man City? Oh, yeah. Which and is, which and is, being Man City was a real problem. Man City was it, worse it's thing. a real issue because yeah. you, it's in the yeah. same, obviously, same town. So yeah. you're, you're up against that. But he's certainly, um, you know, he's archaic. I mean, he's not been good for, in my opinion, he's, he's not been good for football or soccer, whatever you want to be. Do you, you think, know, do you, do you, I, I, do you, I've been thinking about something very interesting here, not now for the past uh, few weeks actually. Do you think that it could be something cooking behind the scene in his books? With Mourinho, yeah, there's always going, something cooking going with Mourinho, into, there's always going, something. Going into yeah. another club? I think he'll do struggle think to Arsenal, get. Do you think they could be the Arsenal get? job in there? No, 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 Ars- no chance. He's not that type. Arsenal no. don't. I, I, I have never historically, you know, got coaches like him. I, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, but I, I've got to say, I think he would struggle to get a big club after if he loses the Man United job. I think he's done his rounds. You know, Real Madrid's yeah, where, did, where, where could he go? Where could, could he go? Where could he go? Well, I, I think he could end up maybe back in Portugal, maybe you know one of the Portuguese teams that he did well there, uh, maybe one of the you know Lazio or someone in, in Italy that needs the lower division, the lower, lower, the, the, the lower, lower teams level, yeah, yeah. that needs to to probably you know defensively tighten up and and get themselves reestablished again. Maybe uh, that's a possibility, but well, then again, I, Kenny is a checkbook coach, isn't he? Yeah, you know yeah. he's always got to go and go a club and buy five or six players, and I mean he bought five or six players from Man U, and some of them can't even get a game now; they're on the bench. Yeah, yes, and I the ones he's plays are playing like, you know. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not, not having some of them. Sanchez there. I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. Mata, Hector, at Mata, home, Mata, you must Mata, play your like attacking players at home, and he played however in the back and three. Johnny in the team. Mate. Well, I'm ready, mate. I've got the boots ready. Don't worry about that. I mean, like there's a great, there's a great, great one where they asked Bobby Charlton. Uh, what do you think about you know the Man United team today against the team that he played in? <laughs> and he said, "Well, I think we'd probably probably be a one-one draw." And the interviewer says, "One-one draw? Do you think it would be one-one?" He says, "Well, remember, we're all well over seventy now." <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, I like your jokes, man. I like your jokes. So, yeah, okay. yeah. but. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. it's true. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah, sadly, <laughs> yeah, sadly, it's true. Sadly, do we? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, I think we could have a, we could have a field day and a feast on him, but I, I think to be honest, we we actually we encourage him by talking about him. To be honest, yeah. I I think he's better to be. You know, I like the positives, and I, I like I'm loving. Like Wolves did a great job against Man City. Never parked the bus. Had a go at them. Got a, got a result. Luckily, you know, referees' decisions went in their favour. But they went at them and they yeah. had a had a real go at them. You know, uh, Cardiff pulled the socks up and got a decent result. Um, you've got Brighton did quite well. You've got Bournemouth. You got Watford lying yeah. third at came, the moment. They all came good. Yeah. It's I good. Mean, it's fun, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah they all it's came very, good, very good. Yeah. So yeah. who's yeah. first? Liverpool. Liverpool second. Liverpool second. Liverpool second. Yeah, Man, yeah. Man City. Man City. No, no. Uh, um, no, no. Um, Liverpool first. No, Liverpool first. Liverpool you're right. Liverpool you're first. Correct. Yeah. Uh, second Chelsea. Second Chelsea. Third, third Wat- Wat- Watford. Watford. Yeah, and then. Uh, I think you've got Man City fourth or fifth, yeah, and, yeah, and then you've got uh, you've got uh, Bournemouth up there. Five, so you see one, five or six, one, so. one draw and bingo, the only oh, go. Well, that's yeah. why when you look at the uh, you know your Arsenals and your Man Uniteds, yeah, you know, this weekend if they well, don't get, got a win too, don't they? Yeah, yeah, they, they got, got a win, win but win. but the reality is if if these teams don't get results this weekend, you know, they, when you get twelve points 
behind Man City and 12 mm. points behind Chelsea you don't catch them you know it's too far so I yeah. think you know I, I mean if I, I can't see Mourinho going past like you said Monday yeah I think it would I you know he well he's got two relatively easy games coming up that's that's if it's anything they probably give it to him favor. there's two but I, Burnley and yeah uh, that's, he, because you know remember, you lost three games and forget yeah. it I think Burnley, Burnley, they've been an issue because they're playing Europa League, um, so they've got a lot of fixtures and, and they've not got a huge squad. So I think that's that's preyed on them a little bit for the start of the Premier League. Mm. But but they're a good side and he's a good coach. Um, so I think they'll come good. Now, do they come good against Man United? Yeah. Is another question. But I think they'll be they'll be okay. You know, they've started poorly, but I think it's just a a, a light squad that they've got. Yeah, but help. then again, you know, it's what I said. You lose three games in the Premier League. And you're well behind, aren't you? And you're well behind. Well, teams are winning, yeah. I, imagine you have a draw, say three or four draws. Yeah, but not just uh, winning. They're winning well. They're playing well, even when they're not like Man City drew, but they still played well. They still had, you know, entertaining football. Mm, yeah, well, that's just a I different, mean, different kind today, of fish, yes, uh, What's yes. more important, winning the game or playing well? You know, I mean, it's a, it's a silly question. The, idea, the ideal answer is play well and win. Like Man United used to do, you know. It's not like we're going here, park the bus, and hope to get a one 0 victory. Yeah, no, the, no, the no, fans won't stand be. for that. Uh, John Pelicanis has just said hi. Hi, John. Good day, Johnny. John. How you doing? I'm, I'm still trying to catch up with you and your your bar crawl last week. <laughs> 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 he covered that many, that many discos. He's, he's the greatest disco <laughs> dancer. Paul and Deborah, my, great, great my in, daughter, mate. son-in-law, are watching. Yeah. yeah. How you doing? And, uh, and I can see John Barcel and I can see Misha <laughs> Lipman yeah. and uh, some of my footballers. Yes, yeah. and my my, uh, my son's coach Craig Williams is uh, tuning again. Hi, Craig. <laughs> um, but yeah, Paul yeah. Mendolia as well and Miss Debra as well. Hi, guys. Good I think we spoke about John's boys. See two boys. Yeah. Yeah. John's, John's two boys have yeah. done yeah. are doing really well, aren't they? Uh, he's just been to the national championships. One of John's boys. Hasn't John's he? boy has. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, play, can, play, can play, I play, play the, the championship? Play the yeah. championship. Yeah. Listen, since we're talking, you know, saying a lot to our, to our, our watchers here, to people that are following us, why don't why don't you come up and say what you want? What you told us tonight that. We're trying to get some football shirts from all. Absolutely, the clubs. yeah. We uh, let Kenny. Yeah, any of the uh, the local clubs. Um, we'd love you to uh, get us some some strips, and we'll uh, we'll hang them in the set and uh, promote the clubs. And we were talking about it earlier on. You know, any of the clubs that uh, you know, the local clubs that want to, you know, post something, whether it be a a, a fundraiser or you're looking for players or coaches or whatever give Hector a, a post on the live site or on the Facebook and we'll give it a mention we'll uh, we'll try and help you as much as we possibly yes, can yes yeah, that's true yeah I um, mean it it'd be good but any you want to uh, uh, send us some uh, or organise to get us a get us a jersey and we'll uh, we'll show it on the show mm -hmm. so it, it would be great if he, I mean there is a lot of clubs in there that we can can be in anyone really. It's, it's we yeah. love to. We love. We'd to. love to see the whole back, the, the whole back lot. Can you imagine? Yeah. That, that, would, that would be, be nice. look fantastic with all the different kits. The League of Nations. Great. <laughs> uh, the home kit preferably, but if you want to send us the home and away, <laughs> absolutely no problems. <laughs> so so, yeah, large size. I large, would probably size large. <laughs> size large. <laughs> Actually, Peter, you, you're going to mention uh, uh, Peter for his birthday. Oh, Peter Papathis. Yeah, happy uh, birthday, Peter. Uh, and, and Alan Burke. And Alan Burke. Burke yeah. yeah happy Peter. Bir happy birthday, guys. Peter has got the greatest collection. A soccer jersey <laughs> you will ever see uh, on Facebook. Any time there's a game on that's related to anyone, he pops up with that shirt. So if we go, we could burgle his place and actually just get all his jerseys <laughs> because he's got so many. But uh, happy birthday, mate, Peter. We yeah, uh, yeah. yeah have a have a great birthday. Yeah, yeah likewise, he's happy birthday, man. Yeah. And um, yeah, look, I will bring. Based on that, will I think I got some shirts from Chelsea when I was. Oh, fantastic. Touching with them, yeah. so I will be bringing some Chelsea shirts. I can bring shirts, and I've and, got some know, of thing under the bed. Yeah, yeah well, you know, we've got quite a few there. Yeah, so. but the local, it'd be great for the local yeah, clubs. Yeah, the local clubs, clubs is, yeah, it's, it's yeah, important it for fantastic. us as we, if you, we are any, Aussies, you know, so you know, that would be nice. There, you know, just uh, post uh, Hector or come on the live chat and uh, let us know if you'd like us to give your club a little bit of a plug. Yeah. Absolutely, that's why we're here. Uh, we want to, it's the grassroots stuff for us. We, we're, uh, we want to help as much as we possibly can. Yeah. yeah, yeah, especially now that we know who's taking, who's the general manager of FFA Australia. What a great thing, man! What a great thing. Yeah, fabulous, yeah. Sarah Walsh, yeah. FFA made their general manager, as we pointed out before. Yeah. 
So that's a big step ahead for the ladies, I mm. think. Yeah, not yeah, before time. No, no, I think it's for everyone because you know we've got to look at the what football is all about. You know, we need we need that, and we need you know people with the know how. So um, we we'll yeah. see. Uh, we, we might get Craig Foster online one of these days. That would be nice to have you know, a chat with him and see what he's up to. All right, son, just get ready. You coming soon? <laughs> Yeah, let, and, let's, um, let's boost the Matildas, mate. Now, guys, yeah. what, what do you think? I mean, you know, I know your Spanish is pretty good, so I have no issue with that. Because I'm no, I have less than your Hector. No, no. <laughs> That's it. No, because, you know, what I might do, I might get um, uh, the assistant coach of Bilardo 1986, the, the famous Hand of God. Yeah. Um, his assistant, Carlos Pachame, one of the greatest footballers in Argentina, one of the greatest ever, really. Um, he was assistant coach of Bilardo at that time, and um, and of course, you know, I wouldn't mind to have a, a chat with him live with us, and I'll, I'll do the translation, or Ricardo might do the translation, we'll see, Ricardo's Spanish is very good. Mm -hmm. So, so we see if we can start mm -hmm. getting some international yeah, input, you know nice, what yeah, I mean, yeah. and, uh, and we might, change, even, yeah. might be able to... Get him to fly this guy here and just get him to. Well, if we get you know? uh, if we get any any scousers <laughs> on the show, me and John can <laughs> can do the translation <laughs> like Stephen Gerrard did. Uh, <laughs> Stephen well, Gerrard, Stephen Gerrard would need someone, yeah. wouldn't he? I'm sure. Classic, uh, I'm sure yeah. we can. I, mean, he's, yeah. he's and, and, and I know. I think we mentioned it last last week. <laughs> but if you haven't if you haven't YouTube that, please do yourself a favour. <laughs> YouTube Stephen Gerrard's translation. Uh, at the uh, press conference, it's absolutely superb. <laughs> uh, it's one of the funniest things. I've got to day. watch. I said I will watch. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, so. It's great. It really is very, very funny. Very funny. Yeah, but, no, uh, no, it's it's one of. But those I think things. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which uh, again, we you know, we 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 want to push as much as we can for the Matildas, and it'd be great um, if any Matildas are happen to be watching. It'd be great. Just drop us a line and uh, maybe give us your bio. And we can give them a little bit of a plug. Be great. Of course, yes, we'll love there's to. two or three yeah. players in the in the Matildas that, that that get all the publicity, but there's a squad there that a lot of yeah, the uh, they don't get it. Yeah. Don't get it, and it'd be nice, you know, leading up to the World Gary Cup. Gary Van Egmond. Yeah. So if Gary's watching. Friend, you know, you know like uh, Gary. maybe post it, send it to Hector, and you know we can yeah. uh, we can sort of give them a mention. It'd be great. And you can get them in, mate. That'll be fantastic. Yeah. yeah Gary fantastic. probably still training. He's still running. Yeah. I remember those days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Gary, where are you? Gary would be number one. Yeah. Three laps, Gary. Hector, one and a half. Five laps, Gary. Hector, two laps. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. What a player. So what do you think about getting some Argentinian coaches over, Hector? You, but no, no, no. I, you know, I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. And I love, you know, can you imagine that? What I've been doing is fantastic, man. Um, I think you probably saw the Facebook. I have um, one of my players gone up to Valencia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen you it. Know, so, and, uh, week, yeah. and now Sampdoria is is a little bit uh, disappointed, but not really, because you know he's just gone there to do a bit of, bit of training to see what it's like. The Spanish, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, Valencia said, "No, come along. We'll get you." Moving here, we'll get you up back on back on track, and then it's your decision whether you want to go back to Italy or you want to stay with mm -hmm. us. We'll put it in your hand. That's that's pretty cool. Nineteen-year-old kid, it's very fantastic. good footballer. Good. Fantastic. And, good I, and I'm saying, yeah, we have nothing else. Yeah, well, then experience. I'm saying, yeah, getting the, overseas. Yeah, I think I mean, um, if everyone just uh, the the, Sc the Scottish transfer window closes on Friday, so so keep an eye on. Uh, on Facebook and everywhere for the moves, there'll be a, there'll be quite there a few. Will be moves. Quite a few, yes. I, th yeah. I think uh, I think Celtic are going to be raped and pillaged. Um, you hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and I certainly hope. I certainly hope it's before Sunday. Be be before, before Sunday, <laughs> I, I, but they did play. They, they did play uh, the the centre half uh, yeah, last he week. Came, he, he came. He what played. was it? Mother Motherwell player who scored the third goal. What was his name? He scored two goals actually. He is a pretty good player. Yeah, would, very like strong. But yeah. like this was a striker. Would you actually. believe Hector? When I was growing up, Motherwell, the best soccer playing team in Scotland by a by a length. Oh, really? They were a fantastic football. Ian St John, who went to Liverpool, yeah. was the centre forward. But they had they were a fantastic football side. They didn't win much, but they played the best football on the ground in any team. But Rangers Celtic were just far too powerful. And then, of course, they came stronger a, and stronger. 
I, I, an old story when I signed Rangers um, and I was 15 uh, 15 the first day I walked into Ibrox and the young boys went into the away dressing room and, and John's, talk, John's <laughs> talking about the, Hi, the intimidation is that, I know that is talking <laughs> is that my son? Is that? <laughs> Hi, mate. Uh, my, my son's posted. Bailey, I'm uh, coming to coach you. Yeah, yeah. Get ready, yeah, Bailey. He's, he, and he needs he needs a little bit of uh, striking work for the next season. He's asked me to get him some personalised coaching. Yes, I but, will uh, be. I will be definitely. Yeah. When, when my, my first first day <laughs> at, at Rangers, I walked into the uh, in, into the big giant doors, and I was so overawed. And I went. The, the young boys. Tr changed in the away dressing room. Now I was six. I was nearly six foot tall, even at fifteen. And I went in, and I couldn't reach the pegs. <laughs> they were so high. So and I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, must all be giants. Well, yeah, the, God, these guys must be giants in here. But then when I went into the home dressing room, the pegs were normal height. And Jock Wallace said to me, that, who was the coach at the time, he said, "Son, he says." When the when the teams come to play us here, he says when they come into the away dressing room, the first thing they think is, "God, these buggers are big lads." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they're immediately intimidated by the co by the coat hooks because yeah. they're so high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then they run in the tunnel and you've got Tommy McLean who's five foot two. <laughs> they're <laughs> all like that. Yeah. But uh, but it was an back in the fifties and sixties, there was that intimidation, that, and it was. You know, I suppose it's like Alfred Hitchcock. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was all psy psychological. So make believe, yes, um, make believe is so. Yeah, the wife that, thinks, that's good, wife that's thinks I look good in this and Joe's top. <laughs> Would you believe there's only Hello, two in Chanel. existence? Hello, Chanel. How are you, Chanel? How are we doing? In existence, Kenny. Two. In these Ricardo's fans. behind the scene in there. there. I've got them made up. One He's one. saying a lot to you too. Rick, Richie, <laughs> Ricky Bell's on. Richie, I see. Where are you? See, I can't see you, my man. <laughs> Good to see everyone. Shane, Shane's watching. Shane Stalker. How you doing, Shane? Hi, Sergio. Hola, Sergio. A few, few names from the old days, mate. From Argentina. Look at that. That's beautiful, guys. Including Ricardo Acuna yeah, Rosario. We've got good names everywhere here. Yeah? Caralho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start charging for autographs well, from now on, It's mate. good to see, guys. I mean, yeah. it's, it's such, a, such a great, great opportunity to get to, to do this, honestly. You know, like... Um, I've seen some of the parents, you know, the that I coach their kids. Really, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just, just so good to see that. So it's good that you know there's a lot of young lads, um, which is really what what we are on about. You know, you're on about it all the time about the grassroots stuff. You know, young boys progressing and being really keen and getting involved and want to better themselves. And you know, like my my son last week said to me, Dad, in the off season, can you get me some personalised striker coaching? I, I'll I just want to. I just want to. I'm your man. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Man. We'll yeah. do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> Bay, I've got <laughs> the guys for you. And and do I get a discount, guys? <laughs> no, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> for you, it's quite embarrassing. Discount. He's got a father who's a professional <laughs> football player, and he doesn't want to. He doesn't ask me. He doesn't want to ask me. It's quite quite funny actually. I, I should be. I should, <laughs> I should. I should. I should feel no, guilty about that. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Can you imagine well, we could taking, do, I, 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 taking I, your son there? Yeah, your your t shirts you gave me last week, I gave him one, he was wrapped. He'd, oh, he'd, that's, so nice, that's nice. That's what we nice. can do that's we'll later on, Hector, when the good weather comes in, yeah, no, three of us different. will do a camp. Yeah, yeah, we'll do free. it. We'll do, no, yeah, none yeah. of this. No, no, $50 a, we'll yeah. just do a camp for kids. Yeah, yeah. Limited, yeah. limited. Like, we can't have a thousand kids to And we could probably. Oh, look at that. Bruno. I love my friend Bruno. You know Bruno. Bruno is love, yeah? Yep. Hi, Bruno. My, my niece is in Argentina, Walter Chiacho, guys. Mucho uh, Chiacho. Yeah. Walter, good to see you, son. Come, sir. All the way from Uruguay. But he's, he's an Uruguay and Australian, yes, actually. We've captured the world, mate. We've yeah. got a no, footballer. We've gone international. Oh, guess who is there? <laughs> you know, Charlie Ackery is watching also. It's Charlie, what? Hi, Charlie. Uh, Charlie. Hi. Uh, hey, Charlie. Hi, yeah. Legend, son, legend, son. I'm still waiting for those videos, you naughty boy. Yeah. He keeps telling me my hairstyle <laughs> hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, yeah, Charlie. I yeah, we go back. I uh, played with Charlie, and, and when we won the uh, national futsal league, I was back in 80, 80, I think it was eighty nine. Charlie, but you can, you can, uh, 
kick him up. He could yeah, kick. We, uh, and that was the that was the days when futsal had the really the little the little ground. Ball. And, and I went I went from playing normal soccer to playing futsal. And I couldn't believe it. I nearly broke my toe the first <laughs> week I played. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Talk about adapting really yeah. quickly. Yeah. No, but, no, uh, with it, with the the Aus- the, the uh, all the I mean the boys have played futsal. There was some terrific. Play- I mean you played obviously you oh, you played, played in the early days. You played with obviously. Oh, the, the, you know I had I tell you I had Nelia Borges. Nelia, yeah, I, I, had, I saw that too. Uh, Luis de Melo, gosh, Hilton Silva. Yeah, we had some players. Marco Silva. Oh. So cheeky, yeah. Erkin and, and, and Ergin. You know what we used to do? Can I share this with you guys? I'll do it. I'll yeah. Share them. You know, I'm cool about things. We used to put the ball. In, you know how the ball doesn't bounce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we lift it up, <laughs> put it in our head, and just go like that. <laughs> <laughs> running with between it. players, and the referees, the, the other players will complain, and the referees they're not touching the ball with their hands. Glasgow get headbutted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh yes, you would. Oh, Glasgow get headbutted. <laughs> so <laughs> what we used to do we to bang the Glasgow foot on the ground, it. pass yeah. the ball to Marco Silva, and the same thing. Yeah, just juggle it. Was just honestly, was just embarrassing. There's a few nutmegs in that competition. Oh, that that's that was you know. Yeah. I tell you, I, you know, some of those things that, that we did is in playing with Charlie. Also, playing with Charlie was yeah. amazing. You know, like um, I did play against Canada. I, I never forget. I think I mentioned that already. Scored a goal from. Uh, I mean, I can't even remember. The goalkeeper was waiting for the ball, and the referee <laughs> already blew the whistle. And the goalkeeper, <laughs> he says, "Why? What happened? The ball was inside." The net. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see the kick. <laughs> Toe bashed it from beer from almost yeah. halfway or past halfway, and he just just went in boom like that. Right. And he just, yeah. the goalkeeper's moving. With the ball. Is it? I've got it Billy Polovsky's watching. Hey, Billy. Oh, hey, hey, Billy. <laughs> and Gary Hatton. Now there's, Gary Hatton's a, there's, yeah, a, yeah. there's a player, Billy. Yeah. Billy, oh, Billy was a great player, player. Yeah. terrific player, and um, good lad too. Yeah, and I just yeah, he just posted a oh, couple of the Charlie, thank deal. you, my friend. He's got a video in the car. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> I will see you tomorrow, son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with, uh, yeah, Billy with the Rockdale Island, and yeah, uh, yeah. I saw it. He posted it in a couple of pictures today. That was any of the great team. They had some terrific players, you know. And I just saw uh, Will and Go Wills. Um, I've just appointed uh, a new coach, and they're talking about there's a possibility they might join with the uh, with Craig's uh, joint. South, yeah, southern, yeah, yeah, southern, southern yeah. But that's that's yeah. what they that's they're trying. They're trying to. They, I, I don't know whether we'll, we'll, uh, Will and Will are that keen about it, but I think it's a possibility because they're taking a leaf off uh, MacArthur because they can see, you know, that that's a, a probably an easier way to get into the. And we're hoping that that they can boost the national league to sixteen teams because well, they need mm, it. Yeah, yeah, of course they, 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 they need it, but they need it to be more. I mean, that's the biggest criticism. I mean, if you have a criticism with the the Loy, um they they're they're too conservative uh from a from a a, a league perspective mm-hmm. you need 16 teams for that excitement and that point of difference every year the 10 team comp has just got too bland yeah, and it's too yeah. well, you're not going to travel from Wollongong to watch Sydney are you really no that's right yeah, if you need no. to go team to them they'll come you know, yeah. if, they stay, if, yeah. if you if you build it they will come that, that's i i saying, still you know? believe that if we do have um a Fijian team, uh, one team from out of the five islands of each island, plus the, the, the Australian league, that would be interesting. Uh, it was interesting to see. Did you see that the Indian under twenty three teams here, here last week played two two games against one against Apia, um, and I'm not quite sure who the first game was against, mm-hmm. and they they won quite comfortably. So the Indian under twenty three teams are actually here playing. Um, did they beat who they won? They beat Apia, but then, and they played someone else. Or were they playing cricket, or were they playing? Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cricket. I actually, I've, I've got it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about Steve. Respect, respect. Respect. I don't know whether Steve, Steve Dab. <laughs> I think Steve Steve Darby's back in Liverpool at the moment. But uh, you know, I I used to tune in because Andy Pascalides, who does the commentary he for the Indian Su- there, yeah, in the yeah. Super yeah. League, so I used to watch quite a lot of the Indian Super League games. So, so Andy learned to speak what Indian? Um, well, Punjab. Well, Punjabi. Yeah. Punjabi. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Andy, <laughs> but, please. But Andy, I was surprised. I, I need you to come here and, s- and sit with us here. I actually watched, watched the Indian League. Definitely, we're going to get Andy here. Yeah, we got to get him because yeah. I, yeah. I can't. I, I used can't to watch when Del Piero went over. That was when Del, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But they had, they've got um, good players. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've got a lot of good players there. But I was actually quite surprised. They're actually, I mean, I don't find Indian people aggressive, but when they play in soccer, they're really aggressive. Yeah. You know, it, it was quite. They, yeah. get, they get stuck in. So 
they're obviously progressing quite well from a soccer perspective because mm. their under 23 team sorry has I, beaten I, I, did you hear what he said I, I didn't understand him <laughs> well, translate for you okay. <laughs> translate <laughs> it's called football man yeah I know mate, but unfortunately you know you'll get a lot of people here who, who still want to talk soccer you're just too Americanized, you know uh, like you know Kenny uh, uh, I mean I, I've, got to, I've got to think when I say that but no, uh, well, you just, what, you just mentioned yeah. Apia. Apia what about them beating yeah Melbourne Melbourne fantastic and their Japanese players knocking in two Oh, who needs Honda? <laughs> Actually, um, uh, we have to mention Sydney Olympic, who won the NPL they did too, Championship yeah. and are in the grand final. Uh, in not this week or the following week, I think they'll play either Apia or Sydney United. Uh, so they under Abbas, he's done a fantastic job. He has done, yeah, too, yeah. done a fantastic job. Week, so well know. done to my Abbas probably my favourite, work, probably my favourite club in the world. Uh, yeah, Sydney it Olympic. Is, it is, it so, is our favourite club. Yeah. it is a shame that. Yeah. It is a shame that the second league cannot go up. Yeah. It is embarrassing mm. to see to to actually to see that, that there is no challenge for any players here. For no. any players, there no, isn't. Well there is nothing is created. Everything is it just come in. You know, we'll pay you so much. You play, and if you win, win. If you win the championship, good. If you don't win, yeah, but it's you're not going thing. anywhere. You're not going anywhere. If you you're win. not going anywhere. Yeah. Even if you lose, yeah. even if you win, it's an incentive, but it's not there. That's not the yeah, problem, but yeah. there isn't an incentive. But then again, we talk about Olympic. They should have been the biggest club in Australia oh, by a mile, mate. By I mean, even when I was playing, they had the best supporters. They're I think. The, I think they you know, had trouble with the committees. There about fifty committee men. Yeah, well, because they don't it's like. You, know, you heard of the food? It's called fasolada. They all eat the same fasolada, the same food. I, right? it's, I've, it's I've got to tell you, I mean, I had seven great <laughs> years there, and I'll, I'll never forget. You know, I bought my first home in Sydney, and one of the directors, Paul Mihail, who's passed away, absolutely sensational man he was, man a few words, but just a heart of gold. So I needed to renovate the place. I'll tell, tell this quickly. So it's about six o'clock in the morning, and I get a knock on the door and I go and as I open the door he's already unscrewed the hinges and he's taking the door off as he walked in <laughs> <laughs> you he then me. walked into my bedroom and jammed the window out and it fell out the front I said what are you doing he says I never walk past anything I do as I pass yeah. and, and he renovated I think he renovated my, my, my house in about three days it should have taken six months I mean You're they're just amazing me. people you know, yeah. and what was the missus when when he went through the bedroom? Uh, <laughs> come I'm on, sure come on. I'm, not sure, I'm not quite sure. I, I'm not quite sure of that. Too, she probably I, making making yeah, a cup yeah. of tea, like. but uh, <laughs> but they're they are absolutely you know fantastic supporters, and uh, no, I, I tell they, you, they've got I a heart of gold, them, and you just you just don't believe the things that uh, used to used to happen. I mean, we yeah. we'd have at training. I think we'd have. For, you know, 1,000, 1,200 turn up sometimes to watch his training. Uh, it was great. That was, that was nice, got away yeah. from the waves. It <laughs> probably was. <laughs> were, 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 were you with us at Bournemouth uh, Park? No, no. No, uh, I don't think so. I, I met you, I, you were one of the first people I met here. Yeah, yeah. When I, we were picked up from the airport. Johnny Thompson, God rest his soul, uh, brought us to um, the showground. And you were in the dressing room with Lubo, do you remember? Yeah. Me and Alec, Alec Jameson. <laughs> Um, arrived and walked I in. You were that. you were in, you were in there, and Johnny Thompson says, "This is our training ground. We don't play here. It's not good enough." And I looked at Alec, <laughs> and Alec looked at me and went, "Whoa!" Some club. I was expecting, you know, this is some club. This. Where do we play? <laughs> Took us to walked us through to the other side, where the original sports ground. This is where we play. Said, oh, really good, fantastic. He then takes us in the car and he says, "Look, sometimes." the youth team in the reserves play here and he takes us to Wentworth Park <laughs> and Alex looking at me and I'm looking at Ali and I've gone I think we might have taken on a bit more than we could chew here <laughs> <laughs> I think we've arrived at Real Madrid you know we weren't expecting that but uh, you know it was uh, we ended up at Erskine Volovo but that's another story yeah. right, you know you, you're talking about that imagine when you in Argentina and and the Australian national coach comes up to you and offers you to come over to Australia and he shows you the magazine with two singlets, two gold posts like <laughs> this and this is football, this is the real football, you know, in in Australia. Australia this yeah. this this hundred thousand people come to watch 
to what you're playing. I said, wow, this looks fantastic, <laughs> so I love it. it, it but I said, what I, what's you, the you, secret? Yeah. Oh, don't worry about that. Do you think the sleeves missing would put you But, but this, this is what I mean, you know, like I'm saying, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very hot in Australia. You know, the, the next sleeves. thing will be, I tell <laughs> we you. Have, we have some great. Oh, I, I mean, I'll never, I'll never forget 19... So beautiful. 1981 or 82, we're playing West Adelaide at, at St George Stadium. <laughs> and we're in, the, uh, we're in the dressing room, referee comes in to check the boots. And he's he's more focused on checking the studs than anything else. And the two teams run out side by side, and we've got the identical kit: socks, shorts, tops, <laughs> Adidas, blue and white stripes. So West Adelaide's got the the same the kit, same. It, identical. And we're looking at each other, and we kept walking. <laughs> we just kept going. <laughs> it was just it was it was something. That, it was really something uh, that, I wanted to buy. That, that would. Be. It was hilarious, yeah. you know. And. That sort of thing happened, you know. We we had some funny times. We had no, some great honestly, times. We used to look. cheat uh, when the referee came in and checked your studs before you went out. After they checked and went out, we changed the boots of the game. We put the other ones back on. Well, we we went on a world <laughs> tour. We in the Olympic, and uh, if, if Peter Catholic is watching and any of the other boys, uh, Tommy Yavin and all the lads that went on the trip, we played Manchester United at Old Trafford, and it was in November, which is obviously winter. So. Alec, Mickey Cross, <laughs> myself, all the British, Scottish lads, screw in studs, because we know. Billy Palmer, uh, Billy Peter Palmer. Roscopoulos. Where is Billy uh, Palmer? Uh, Peter Catholis, couple of, uh, Mark Cousins, you know, they've got moulded. <laughs> the first ball, down the line. My, uh, the, um, it was in the afternoon, so it, it had been raining, it was wet. Um, Mark Hughes was playing for Manchester United and he's gone down the lane and he's running and Billy Palmer's chasing him down the lane and he's checked and came inside and Billy Palmer has just kept going so he's gone from Old Trafford to Main Road that's how he kept he <laughs> couldn't stop he's stuck a trench you know, he's just like he's, <laughs> he's stuck a trench <laughs> it, it was can you, you know, imagine and, uh, you know you, Johnny, you could that, not that suddenly happens you know, it's great you know, I have really. a friend and his wife in West Aussie are watching Anne how you doing where's Marcus the old man Kales. <laughs> That's in West Aussie. Yeah, friends of mine in West yeah. Aussie. Those were the days. Those were the days when you uh, when you went on a trip. You know, we we flew with Alitalia, and you could actually sleep on the floor and a plane up the front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there wasn't any occupational health and safety or anything. And we had uh, we had such a great. I mean that that time. You know the the National League of the Phillips League. You know that time between seventy seven and eighty three, eighty four. It was just unbelievable. It really was. Yeah. You know the the players. You know, well, you know, every team had seven or eight outstanding yeah. players. I want to ask you something. I want to ask you a question. You know how we have um, the competition now is finished. Yes. Mm. Now football now it's basically gone for us. Yes, and it should be <laughs> a summer competition. Well, it should be still going. I mean, we play. You know, twi- like you like know, I just crazy. don't get it, especially for. For youth development, you know, like uh, there should be summer competitions, and why there isn't? Well, for the money they pay, it should be. You it know, like if, especially if you got the A League, they are playing. It wouldn't be even. I mean, I don't know how many games are played uh, before the the first game, before the first grade. Um, I think it's only one or two, isn't it? Well, they, they play next to nothing. Yeah, very. You very know, little. like it's, it should be some incentive in there to. Encourage football. Well, Laurie, Laurie's taken at least Laurie's taken the uh, uh, the Newcastle guys overseas. You yeah, know, they, 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 China, they, right? they and then they went to they went to Spain. Spain. After that. So, so they, they they've, had that, they've had that they've had a real travelled pre-season. So they've they've got themselves. But but yeah, stripping but it back still, to but it still does not help. No, no, the grassroots stuff. Yeah, the grassroots you know, stuff. To yeah. play, you know, kids like my son uh, Bailey at, at seventeen. Playing 22 games is ridiculous. He should be playing 46, 47 games. You know, it's crazy. Uh, it, it's the gap. It, it's the gap between 20th of August or 25th of August to actually goalposts going up and being able to play games late March, and it's a clash with yeah, the cricket. Yeah, so we've got we've got an issue with. Who, I mean, uh, with all respect to any other code, we're not thinking. You know, playing cricket with a football. No, you just can't. You can't. You can't. You, can't get, you, yeah. you just can't get the grounds hit. The, the, no, yeah, the issue. but there is. The, yeah, but not every every suburb there is football fields that are available. 
Yeah, but there's so many like teams. Even, even five or side, I'm sure that they can be. Oh, they've got plenty of five or side. Well, there's lots of that goes on. I mean, there's lots but of it's futsal. A, that's that's not yeah. futsal. Five a side on grass. Yeah. Well, F futsal is not good for your knees, yeah. especially for children growing up. Mm. And ask it's ask, too your, hard, doc isn't it? It's ask too hard, your doctors. Ask your doctors. Unfortunately, yeah. what's happening? They, everything when they talk about five and six a side, you know, they, they tend to tag it futsal now, although it's not actually really futsal because mm. they don't use a little ball. And, and it's slightly different, but there is lots of uh, five aside, six aside comps that gets played, but it's not a living aside. I mean, you know and I know yeah, five aside and six aside is a completely side, different yeah. game. No, no, it is completely. Yeah, but we're talking about developing for the for the sake of developing, not in stopping playing football. The children need yeah. to play competition. They need to be challenged. Absolutely, they might need to be opened. So we need to give them. Uh, an opportunity to excel, to learn what they can do with the ball, they can start the players. Five aside is Absolutely. perfect. Well, they forget, you know? you know, I mean, the reality is retention is really, really important. And if you expect a kid, you know, who you've been coaching from, say, end of February and then finish at 25th of August, and you get them back again in February to be retaining a lot of the stuff you've taught them the year before. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Of course it's, it's going to happen. happen. You've, got to, you've literally got to practically start again. That's that players that doesn't have the natural flair or natural ability. They do things very naturally. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's not a lot of, lot of kids... Well, there is kids that do it, but the kids that need to work on their game, you know, they need to be in an environment where... Go post. Can in my academy I train three hundred and sixty five days of the year. I miss whenever it's raining they won't allow you. That's fair enough. Um you know, but I don't stop. No. And every yeah, training session what, what, is, age is group, what age groups do you coach? From your three years to? old up to eighteen. Eighteen. And yeah. then where do they go after that? Well To me there's a big you know, a big gap between I'm talking about learning the game. Yeah. Not just learning how to well, control the ball. I'm talking about learning the game. Yeah, how to well, pick a ball, how to pick a pass out. I'm, I'm What's the best way to run? Why are you running? This is what Things I would like, like you. you know? I would love you to come along. Um, you know, um, we're having a barbecue this Saturday. Um, my dear friend Tessa and her husband um, from Kuji Prep that I coach, and they're part of my competition on Saturday morning. We are playing in Heffron Park in Marubra. And we're having a barbecue. They, they set up a barbecue for us. Yeah. That's so Good nice. Stuff, yeah. And you know, all of you guys, of course, are invited. Mm -hmm. You gotta get there to have from park. You know, by mm -hmm. near the pool. Uh, you're more than welcome to come along, yeah. please. Oh, um, Peter, Peter runs the as you talk about here from here from park, here from pool. I think Peter Peter yeah, has his. Uh, the, the, the Arcade there, yeah. yeah. Well, he's got that. Yeah, he's got yeah. The, the food caravan there. Yeah. So, Peter, we can we, we can certainly get. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> get, I, I, get I, I, Steve I, Simon. Steve <laughs> Simon, Peter. We we'll just yeah. gave you a plug. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you know, you know, how good would that, that would be. I love you to come along on Saturday, yeah. and we we get there by nine o'clock. But I go there always earlier, and I set up everything, and then you guys get there by nine, nine o'clock, nine thirty. I little guy may start bringing runners. You know, we might even have a little guy yeah. with the kids. Do you understand, some understand what I mean? And then about we have a, a nice yeah. barbecue. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean about this gap? Yeah. To me, there's a huge gap that it goes from here to here, but they're not learning from here to there. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I don't stop, you know, Johnny. You know, I don't stop. That's that is the reason why yeah. at the Bondi Football Academy, and this is good. Um, we don't stop. I never stop. I continue going, and like every Sunday morning for the past 25, 30 years. I use that, that beach session training on a Sunday morning from 8 o'clock till 9.30, mainly to keep the children physically fit. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't stop. I think we've got to... You know, you know how nice that is? Yeah, we've mentioned it before, but I think we've got, to, we've got to keep pushing us that either the FFA or the individual clubs, I think it needs to be the individual clubs, they need to be getting ex-players... Involved. Involved. Yes. Uh, in a... In a, in a Scouting capacity, um, whether it be Melbourne, whether it be Adelaide, whether it be Brisbane, and get you know the players from you know quality players, and get get them out there finding the talent and bringing them to the to the clubs on a Tuesday night and working on 
you know the with the raw talent coaches, with quality yeah, coaches with quality, with quality coaches. coaches but they've got to they've got to get they've, no 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 we're not talking to you not, not yet no. uh, <laughs> warm up <laughs> you're not in five minutes there, there was a white there was a white joke going to get slipped in there but we'll let that go um, <laughs> so finish that one two please. sugars for me darling <laughs> uh, but 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 they I'm really passionate about them getting I mean guys like Tony like for example if you're a, a young defender wouldn't it be great to have Tony Henderson um, coaching so you on a, on a, two, on a oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're right but uh, Pascal Henderson um, John Eisendorn um, I mean guys that have played they're multiple cups they're all there aren't they yeah they're all there to actually get a quality defender they've got to defender. take a step as well yeah they've got to take a step now they can do it now through us yeah believe me we can make things happen yeah. well I think we one, thought, we thought one, all this one, is about a, yeah. 20, a quick $10, thing yeah. co- Billy Pilovsky you know yeah. Billy Pilovsky hi Billy He's just saying three champions. <laughs> so Thanks, thank Billy. you, thank you, Billy. <laughs> also, kind, Mark yeah. Skill, I think I told you, he's yeah. watching, and Jordan Figon, the kid that I used yeah. to, uh, Jerry Sun, he's you know he's playing in Cyprus. Yeah. He's watching a show from there. Isn't that beautiful? Thank oh, you, and, and Billy. Billy, Jordan. thanks, thanks for the uh, for the holiday snaps when you were away. I was yeah. I was learning a, learning a lot about uh, about certainly about. Uh, he was everywhere, wasn't he? Yeah. Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Yeah. He was he was traveling. Serbia. In Serbia. He was all over there. There were some great photographs you posted. Kakozi uh, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I think we've definitely got to we've, we've definitely got to try and try and encourage the, the certainly the individual clubs to get the quality players scouting and bringing groups of players, you know, one night a week at, at the clubs, you know, whether it be Sydney City, Sydney FC, sorry, uh, whether it be the Jets, whether it be Western Sydney Wanderers, whether it be Heidelberg, whether it be <laughs> Melbourne City, yeah. all, all these clubs, you know, there's Adley, you know, Adley United, you know, there's so many there. But I, I think it could start a bit of a, a soccer revolution by by reactivating. It's like it's like the players that they're, they're like they've been put into a cocoon and yeah. they're waiting to be reactivated. Yeah, they're waiting to be to be encouraged to get involved because they feel as though. The, the like nobody cares nobody about cares about exactly right. and, no, you know, somebody no, no, like, I, can, somebody I like can guarantee you there's the opposite yeah. it is the opposite guys you know um, because I deal a lot you know like uh, by the way maybe you don't know this but I own the Bondi Beach FC and I'm looking for a sponsorship I'm looking but I'm, I don't care if it, if, if it, even if they come from Malaysia China any, any part or even Australia even our own home, someone says to me, look, we want to be interested in your club, can we donate X? And then, you know, can you imagine that? Mm. Get all the boys involved with us and have a proper development squad. And like Argentina, we got the door open. England, we got the door open. And also at the same time, now I will, I will let you know that uh, Len Cantelo, Brian Robson and David Sharpie are, are coming sometime, probably, uh, early next year to Sydney finally d- finally yeah. they decide to come and visit us here so just from now so you know very nice but yeah. if you guys will be involved Excellent. with us yeah. and uh, and we're talking about Len Cantelo yeah. you know and Brian yeah. Robson the two very good pals they yeah. they are very good mates and they will do anything for football I looked on YouTube during the week you won't believe this there was an English guy obviously a professional coach coaching young players 18-19 and he was teaching about screening the ball. And he was like, you get here and he says, and you hold them off, but you have to make a fist <laughs> because you can't get full strength unless you make a fist to hold them off. And I'm sitting going, really? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, a lot I of people... Never like that yeah, because I've never heard anything they, like they, that they in my life No, before. you see, what, what a, a lot of... <laughs> you have to make what? a clenched fist, he said, because you're not strong no, enough otherwise. It's just by you putting your arm in there, like or to all my kids, you, when you come and How watch... How are you supposed to grab that guy's jersey if you're not going to open hand? He will see the three-year-old kid, <laughs> three-year-old kid <laughs> at the academy, he will see them... He, he wanted. To, he tried to get the ball from them, they put the arm in there and they hold you. but not a close... What's this close And I teach them... You can do it that way, but if you go like this, it's a foul. The referee, because you actually can grab him, or you you push in the player, but that why you don't. You got no strength, but you have a strength in that yeah. wrist, and you're holding the player from getting the ball from you. And if another one comes from there, you put it on the side, and you hold on the ball with your left. You change side. And you change side. You know what you I'm You know who so? doesn't do that? Then he plays for Brazil, and he plays for Chelsea. It's Willem. 
Mm. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He comes inside from the from the right wing. Yeah. He'll come inside he'll, he'll against Belgium. He got taken off because after he came inside on the right, he kept it on his right foot. Like I keep saying, change it because <laughs> he kept it's, losing the ball. Or, or just change your food. He doesn't do it. Change your food, you know. And like he's an international. Yeah, he, and that's a lot of I, I thought that's what he Timmy Dak and says, surely somebody in his career has said, change yeah. his feet. Yeah, this is. He might keep the ball the furthest away from the opposing player. And he, st- he doesn't do it. Uh, just just going off a slight tangent. Uh, Ange posted a poll. It was his b- birthday, birthday this week. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, happy Ange. Birthday, Angie. Uh, yeah. And he got Angie. a great re- he got a great result. Um, yeah, cause he's in really, he was, he's got a bit of a relegation battle going on in Japan, yeah, but he got a great result against the fifth team, uh, which is eased a little well bit of pressure. Well so done, we wish you all the best and hope. hope well, you, the very uh, best man. Yeah, you know we're well. supporting you, so yep, don't keep up the good good job. Yep. So you know, let's let's hope his Japanese is improving. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll just talk to them in Greek. No worries. In the way, you know, sayonara. <laughs> no, we'll send we'll send Stephen Gerard to translate. Oh yeah, that's no problem. Are... Yeah, that's it. That'll be Stephen. Like that'll be Stephen's new job. Like yeah, as, a, as, a, as an actual translator. It's. Uh, I just I want to say two guys doing Ferguson and Stephen Gerard. I posted it on Facebook, mate. It's the funniest thing you ever heard. Yeah. The, the, the sound just like them, mate. They're fantastic. It's, uh, it's actually you know YouTube. Some of the things, if you, if you and, and to be honest, you know, not only from a from a funny perspective, but if any kids really want to watch, you know, quality games, go back to Maradona in the in the, in the World Cups. Go back to the 1970, which is my hand and heart, my favourite team of all time, the 1970 Brazilian team, uh, World Cup team. Mm. For me, I've never seen anything like that ever again. Um, but do yourself a favour if you if you can. Uh, YouTube it, Google it, watch it. You'll be you'll be amazed when we talk about bending balls. I mean, Rivellino and Jorzino were doing it in 1970. Pele, you know, Bad, yeah, 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 yeah Watch that free kick. Yeah, Rivellino. But, but we, we, the, the young kids today think this only started to happen since yeah. Ronaldo and that was there. It was happening in 1970. You know, but we, we just weren't really acknowledging you it. Know, I just want to say sh- sh- share something with you. That some of my players, they they know. And they will not believe that I'm saying in, on on worldwide uh, in in our show internationally. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In Australia, what is the kids are born looking, learning, and they know how to do the drop kick because the egg ball. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry, rugby. Whatever the you rugby want to call ball, it. Yeah. I call them the egg ball. So they know how to do the drop kick, and a lot of games are won because the drop kick. Yes. Yeah. On rugby league. On yeah. Yeah. Um, on any game, I take 20 players, and there's no one of those 20 players can actually do a drop kick with the ball, <laughs> with the football. They no, can't. Football, no. They can't. We, you know, back back in the they uh, can't, man. Back in the seventh, uh, <laughs> 1978. And then I teach them how to. Yeah. Is here and there because the ball will spin so beautiful, like Rivellino and all of yeah, yeah. you know. And and I'm trying, and I'm getting there. I'm getting there. My God, I tell you, but it's hard. It's hard, hard work, you know. To, to yeah. but once when they do it, the first time, the second time, and they go, wow, Hector, now I get it. Now they all of a sudden they, they stepped it up and they score goals from corner kicks. And yeah. I mean, I can yeah. some of my kids, 14, 15, 13 years old, oh Hector, Hector, I scored a goal from a corner kick. I can't believe it. And they're so happy, man. It gives me goosebumps. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's got to learn. It's, proud of it's, what like, they it's do. like a, a, a tradesman learning his trade. You've got two feet, you should be able to use them. If you want to swerve it that way, you use it outside. You only swerve that way inside. It's just, just you have to be taught that. Yeah, I might, might as well, might as well it after that. Yeah, I might as well say, you know, I've got three kids that I'm working really hard at the moment to. One is called Duke Bushby, uh, or Bushby, whatever you, however you want to spell it or say it. And 14 years old, what a player! Oh my God, what a, you, you will see him. Uh, the other one is Maxim uh, Krimotat. I'm sending him over to Spain. He is Harry Kuhl, above Harry Kuhl, above Daniel Asani, yeah. above him. Above him. And the other one is, is Zach Kareka. I'm sending him over to um, to England uh, in the next uh, in October. Mid September to mid October, he's going for one month. Hopefully, I want him to just go and have a taste and see what it's like mm-hmm. in England. You know what I mean? And see and see how we go. Oh, but these kids, they work, they work, and they work. Oh, and they there's, no, there's no shortcuts. There's no shortcuts. Actually, 
Alec Robertson's grandson, who's at Manchester City. Uh, I think Peter posted it the they other posted day. It, yeah. He's actually playing in the England under. Uh, was that the under sixteen? Under sixteen. Under sixteen. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, apparently, I haven't actually seen him play, but all the boys are raving about. They reckon he's mm. absolutely superb, and he's gone there at a very early age, obviously. And that's the point I'm making. The, the real, the real, t- the it's, real talent. Yeah. We're, we're going to we'll lose, lose really early. Yeah. yeah, but and that's that's natural, and and I understand that. But uh, but this boy, you know, um, because we're not supporting our own backyard. Yeah. But it, but Alec Alec and his and Alec's son, obviously, you know. They, they've got his grandson and, and their son, you know, well trained, and they they've worked on the boy. And apparently, apparently he's, yeah, su- yeah. he's absolutely magnificent. So well, he's got he's, the genes. He's, he's got, got the genes. Gene, oh, he's definitely yeah. got the genes. Yeah, cer- certainly yeah. with his his he's father, and his grandfather. Yeah, he's all but, a good uh, player. Uh, and, yeah, and Alex, is Alex, was a good player. I mean, Alec, the, the grandfather, Alec. Yeah. Um, you know, he was a great player at Sydney City. He, he was one of the players who never got a lot of. Uh, probably publicity that he should have got because he was playing a team that was just probably dominating. Yeah, fully but and pace, he played, yeah. you know. I mean, he was, he was never present team in that. Yeah. They were never the same when he never played. I think he, he went back one season uh, back to the UK. And they were they weren't the same team when he came back. They were back to the normal 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 thing. But uh, yeah. But anyway, he's uh, he's actually can play for Australia. He can play for Scotland, and he's. Uh, although he's playing for England under 16, it doesn't stop him doesn't playing, stop playing playing full internationals. Yeah. So um, hopefully um, he'll pick Australia. If he doesn't, hopefully Scotland hopefully after Scotland, that. Yeah. yeah, but uh, hopefully he plays for Australia. If he's so got any sense, he'll play for Australia. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> if he wants to go and win the World Cup, he better play for Australia. Yeah, absolutely. He's been struggling all the time. Mate. Wow, no, no, no. So, um, gentlemen, look, it's been a, another beautiful, beautiful night, and uh, it's so nice to to have you to talk about football. Honestly, you know, like uh, because you know, it seemed to me that this is needed. You know, I've been stopped already quite a few times in the street. You know, coffee shop people come and, and uh, people that I had never met before. Oh, I think you're the guy that we. That just really gives me goosebumps. Well, yeah, yeah. so I never experienced this, but it's so nice, you know. That's so great. really, I think Jamie Carter has hit it on it's the place push, him, Hector. Yeah. you yeah, know. Jimmy. And thanks to done, um, done a fantastic job. also Ricardo yeah, as well. Yeah. You know, honestly, yeah, you guys, without you, this wouldn't be happening. You know that. Yeah. So as much as you don't like that, but no. it's the truth. So. Yes. Really take set, set the cameras up, made us look a lot better today. Yeah. <laughs> See if there's a lot of hair and makeup. I hope, I hope, <laughs> I hope I'm looking good Absolutely. Too. <laughs> hair and makeup. We've actually, the budget's getting bigger. Hair and makeup. I'm going to buy a rug at the weekend, mate. So we, <laughs> so so we, no, we, 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 you have a wig next I'm, week. I'm getting the rug on. <laughs> yeah, so now we're asking for hair and makeup, <laughs> hair and makeup. lady. Yeah. And, and, and um, yeah. So, so I've got a bit of a turn, so I'm yeah. for the makeup. You, you leave. Yeah. And then getting ready for summer, yeah. you know, like yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so we'll be a lot of rock band where you, you get okay. a list of what yeah. food yeah. that you got to get. You're like <laughs> the bloody only white man here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so really, um, yeah, to all listeners, you know, I like to thank, thank you. you once again. Thank you so so Good much pleasure. for um, for having us at, at your home and or whatever you are around the world, Argentina, it's early in the morning, and, uh, and all our friends will be, I'm sure that in the very near future, I'll hook up with um, Carlos Pachame, and also Lalo Maradona, by the way, yeah. he's waiting, yeah. so, and uh, I'll be definitely talking to him, and then hopefully we'll try to either get... Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just look at that. To get, 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 to the message, get the chips on. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thank you once again, and uh, thank you, Jamie. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thanks. Thank you so much. God bless. Good night, everyone.